Hi guys, today I'm super excited about today's craft because I have made a purse out of paper and markers and tape before, but I have never made one out of craft foam, so I'm really excited to do that. Um, there's kind of some background noise. I'm actually at, I'm a teacher and I'm at school right now getting ready for the school year, so a lot of teachers are in the hallway talking. And I'm going to try to talk loud and make sure that you guys can hear me. Um, but if there's ever a, a part that you can't hear or you need more clarification on, you can just email us and let us know. And I will clarify for you guys and let you know exactly how to make the craft. So today um, we are going to make a little, you could call it a purse or a carry bag or a container. Um, we're just going to make something that's going to help us to show love to others the way that the Good Samaritan showed um, care for the injured man in the parable. And we're going to really be um, creating something that will help us hold something that we can give to somebody else if they are ever sad or worried or in need. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna need a piece of craft foam. Um, it's basically just like a really thin piece of paper. If you wanted to use paper because you did not have craft foam at your house, you could also use paper with this. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our paper. Uh, you're gonna fold your paper like this where a small portion is left at the top and then fold that piece over. So it kind of looks like an envelope right now. Your next step, is you're gonna take a brad, like that would be on an envelope, um, and you're going to poke it into the top and fold it over. And then you're going to go a little bit ways down onto the bottom part of the craft foam, poke the brad through and fold it over. Okay, so yours should look similar to mine. The next thing that we're gonna do is you will need some yarn. We're gonna take a small piece of yarn. About this big. And the reason that we are doing that is because we are going to create a way to um, close this because remember we said we're going to be putting some things inside. So all I'm doing right now is I put the string around the brad and I'm putting it around a few times, make it tight, and then I guess actually my string could have been a lot smaller. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing to the top part. And then whenever you want to keep it closed, you just tighten it up. Like so. I'm gonna cut off my extra string that I don't need. Like that, but when I wanna open it back up, I can open it, okay? The next thing, I have already cut my duct tape because these scissors are not great, but you will need two pieces of duct tape, any color. Um, I just chose pink because that's what I had in my cabinet at school. You're gonna fold it over and we are going to put duct tape on the bottom part, but don't put it on this top flap where we're folding over. And I think I'm just gonna put the extra tape around here so it's kinda like a little decoration. But if you wanted to cut off the extra tape and only have it on the side and not on the bottom, you could do that also. Like that, same thing to the other side. There we go. 
hold this plus like that. See how it's like a little briefcase or a little purse or container to hold some things? So now we're gonna think of things that we want it to hold. So the first thing that I thought of was the verse from today's lesson, 1 John 3, 18. So I wrote that down just in case anybody that I come across might need some inspiration or might need um, to read a good Bible verse. I'm just going to put that in there. And then I thought about if I were sad or worried or anxious about something, what I would want to read. So I might want to read like some uplifting words like, God loves you. So I'm going to put that in there. You will want to make sure to put some inspirational words on a piece of paper or a sticky note or whatever you want to keep inside of your holder um, and write some inspirational words there that you might wanna share with friends or family members or anybody that you see that might need some uplifting. Put them inside and then we have this string where we can close them inside so that they uh, won't fall out and you can carry this with you wherever you go maybe if you're going back to school you can put it in your backpack you could keep it in your parents car you could keep it uh, just bring it with you you could fold it and put it in your pocket whatever you wanted to do so that you always have it with you in case anybody might need some inspiration um, I know that we show love to other people by showing God's love and by being more like Jesus. And this is one way that we can uplift people and make sure that they have a great day. So thanks for joining in with me. I hope once again that you could hear me because it is a little loud out there. And I hope that you guys, whether you are going back to school in person or online, um, if you haven't started already, I hope that you're getting excited about it. And if you have already started, I hope that you are having a great week.